In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. So the first thing you want to do is install the plugin. Once it's installed, you want to toggle the switch to on, which will activate the plugin. Give it a few seconds and then you want to click manage to go to the global settings area. Okay, and now we are in the global settings area. So first thing is we can create a pricing discount based on the order total. And to do this, we just click add a pricing group. And then here you can create a title. This is for internal purposes only. And then you can create the quantity based on the cart total or the cart total of a specific category. And then here you get to select who this rule applies to. So it can be applied to everyone or a specific user role. You can also set a um, start date and an end date of when you wanna end this promotion. So say for example, you could say um, spend a $150 to get, um, okay, let's do that. Let's write it out now. So I'll spend $150. Well, yes, let's spend a minimum of $150 to get a percentage discount of, um, let's say 5%. No need to add the percentage sign, just add the number here. And you can also create another rule if you want. So it can be like a tiered rule. And then if someone spends over $300, a minimum of $300, then it will give them also a percentage discount of 8%. And that's how you add this particular rule. Uh, okay, let me save this and then we'll test it out. Okay, so it's saying uh, that we must enter in the values of all quantity, yeah, of all quantity amount. So let's say, 150 to 299 for this particular rule. And then let's say between 300 and 1,000. One, one and I'll get an 8% discount. Let's save this change. And now let's check out our, our rule. Okay, as you can see here, the current discount rule that's available to this particular user, in this case, everyone, you can see what current promotion we've got on this particular product. So here it says, if we purchase from $150 to $299, we'll get the 5% and so on. So let's test this out. So we need $150, let's make it simple. Let's just add 10. That should bring us up to a $180, right? Okay, so let's add this to our cart. Let's view cart. Okay, so we've got a few um, extra products. So let's go ahead and remove some of these. Okay, now it's saying $17.10. 10 cents. And that's basically, basically because now, now our discount is within the 5% threshold instead of the 8% due to the other items that we've got. So let's head back to our dashboard. So this is one rule in which you can create. Another one is uh, quite simply based on the user role. So currently I'm logged in as an administrator. So I could set up a discount rule for our administrator and we can set it to a price discount or a percentage discount. So price, say for example, we'll get $10 off per product or percentage discount, 10% off um, all products. 
Hopefully this makes sense. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I think you get the idea. Do the same for the other user role as well. Um, categories. So we can create um, various discounts based on the category. So if someone was to purchase in the clothing category, we could say, just like the user role, we're going to give 15% off for all products within the clothing category. Or you can make it a fixed price. So you could say you could get $5 off um, all products within the clothing category. Okay, and then here we've got our import export function, which is new. Here we've got the import export rule function, which is new. I'm going to come back to this shortly because I want to show you how to set up um, the discounts on the product level. So let's head over to one of our products. Okay, and then here you should see this new tab called pricing discount rules. Click on it and then just click add um, pricing group. And then this should be looking quite familiar now. So here we get to specify who we want to target with this particular promotion. So in this case, I'm going to select um, specific role and then let that be admin because I'm logged in as admin. And then the quantity base, let's leave this to product quantity. You can do variation quantity. Um, uh, cart line item quantity quantity of category and so on the rule processing mode bulk or we can create special offer so special offer would be if you buy one product you will receive a discount of the second product for of if you can set a price discount so let's say this product's $18, right? So if a user purchase one product, they will get a, dis a price discount of the second product of, let's say, $5. Or if we change this to, and this, this price discount is per item, by the way. And then we've got the percentage discount. So in this case, they'll get 5% of the second product or they'll get a fixed price off. So let me show you how this look on the front end. And again, you can set the start date and also an end date. So let's save this discount rule. So let's just update and then let's view this product and we should see the new discount in which we've just created here. And this product table is dynamically displayed based on all the particular rules that applies to the user that's browsing. So currently I'm browsing as an admin. If you've got various rules, so um, let's say one for your admin, one for your um, wholesale customer, then the admin will only see the admin discount and the wholesale customer will only see the wholesale discount. So again here, as I was saying, so you buy one, get one more discounted at 5%. So let's check this out. If we can remember though, we've got, um, We've got a few products in our cart. So this that might mess up the example. So let me quickly, let's view cart and then let's remove um, all the products. Okay, so now we've removed all the products. Let's just do that again and then view cart. Okay, here we can see we've got a 5% um, discount. Um, so, so typically this is $18, right? And due to the 5% discount, we're now getting each product for $17. 55 we could set it to a hundred percent which essentially the users buying one and getting one free so this is how the special offer work or you can create a tiered pricing discount rule so in that case you'd select bulk and then let's say for user purchase um, 10 quantities so sorry five minimum of five five to ten and then let's add a another and another and then 11 to 20 and then 21 and above so for the and above we'll just use the asterisk and then we'll just select this as a percentage discount so if they purchase between 5 and 10 we'll give them a 5% discount 11 and 20 a 8% discount and then 21 and above we'll give them a 10% discount I will give the admin a 10% discount. 
So now let's save this rule uh, to remove this from our cart as well. Okay, and here we go. We can see all the dis discount that's available to this particular user. Okay, so five. Here you can see as well the price um, dynamically updating for the tier, the price and discount. So if I purchase um, five, then now each product I'm getting for $17.10. Um, $17 okay, now let's increase this to 11. And then here we're falling into the 8% threshold. And then if we say above 21, we're falling into the 10% discount. Okay, so that's the pricing discount on a product by product basis. That's why you can create um, multiple um, pricing groups. So for example, I can duplicate this and then let's say target uh, our sales agent. So this is our sales agent user role. And then we can change the percentage discount to to five and eight and then save and you can create multiple um, pricing discount rules so for example as well if we were to save this remember this product um, being a logo because now we're going to head back over to our export uh, functionality our export functionality exports um, the pricing rules on the product um, level so let's head back to Roo Suite pricing discount rule and now let's hit export import and then here we've got um, bulk ex um, bulk product export so what this does it will export all your products so this is useful if you want to for example like i did create one um, pricing rule on the product on the product level to then be able to get the template so you can replicate it on all your other products or if you've um, created various um, pricing discount rules for various products and you only want to update those um, pricing rule for all the products that has the pricing rule on the product level it's it sounds complicated but hopefully it will make sense then you just want to select existing rules and then this will basically just export all the products which has a pricing rule on the product level. So when I say product level, I mean you've headed over to products or product and edited the product on the WooCommerce product edit page. So for this example, I'm gonna select bulk product because I wanna export all the products on my site so I can bulk edit them. So I'll just export this rule and it's gonna export it to CSV and I'm going to open up a Google Sheet. You can use um, Excel or whatever software you want to use. I'm just going to use Google Sheet. And let's select a blank one. And then we just click File, Import, Upload. Let's drag and drop it. Import data. Okay, Beanie. So if you remember the product that we edited, and it's the only product with a price and discount rule, you can see it here. So here you can see um, the various rules in which we created. So here um, you can see Beanie, the condition type all. Um, it applies to a user role, which is the admin. The quantity base is product. Um, processing rule is continuous. And then here it says rule one. Quantity from, so if you remember this was quantity from five, and then below it says quantity two, so quant so from five to ten. So if you remember as well, this is here, this here, five to ten, and below that it says the discount type. Let's make this bigger. The discount type is um, a percentage discount, right? And then for the same rule, rule one, it says the discount amount is 5%. So if you remember as well, so quantity five to 10 and the discount amount is 5%. So that's that. And then here it says it's still the beanie um, product. So if you can see here, so all these rules here are for, are for the beanie 
with logo product. So this is rule two now, and this one says quantity from 11 to 20, and the discount type is percentage, and the discount amount is eight. And then again, you can see rule three, quantity from 21 to an asterisk for infinite amount. Um, the discount type is percentage, and the discount amount is 10%. And then we have, believe we created a, another discount uh, based on roles, which is um, sales agent. And you can see here. So what I can do with this information now is, for example, I'm going to edit this product, which is T-shirt with logo. I'm going to add a simpler rule. So let me cut this, give myself some space. And then I'm just going to copy and paste. Um, I'm just going to create one rule. So I'm going to copy and paste um, all this information, which says rule one. And I'm going to paste it here. And then now all I need to do is update the product ID and the product name to match to match this t-shirt with logo product, which I plan to edit. And then let's put this back so we leave no space. So uh, I guess I could delete this as well, actually. Uh, let's delete that then. So cut and let's paste it here. Right, so our t-shirt with logo, um, again, we're targeting administrator. Let's change it a bit just so we can see the changes reflect on the front end. So minimum quantity, two. Um, maximum quantity, uh, let's say five. So if the purchase over five, then it won't qualify for the discount. So in this use case, they need to purchase between two and five and a percentage and a discount type is percentage. And let's give them... 20%. So now all we do is we just export this. Yep, download. Uh, yep, CSV. We could have named it as well. But, uh, well. Now let's head back over here and then under import rules, we could just drag the file here actually. And then import rules. And then it says pricing rules successfully imported. Now, if we go to products, and if you can remember the product which you edited was um, T-shirt with logo, I believe. Yep, here we go, this one. And then if we edit this as well, we should see the pricing rules reflected on this particular product. There you go, so we've got the one product, if you can remember. We said the minimum is two, uh, maximum five, and a 20% discount. And let's make sure it works. There you go. You can see the discount being applied. So the import and export functionality is super useful if you've got loads of products. Or if, for example, you want to um, bulk um, edit your products. Let me quickly show you how you can um, go about editing only the existing rules that you've got on your site. So it's the same similar principle. So for export rules, we'll click existing rules and then we'll select export. In my Google Sheets, let me create a new page or a new sheet. And then let's select import, import, upload. And then let's just upload this. So if you can remember in our first um, export, which is this one, we had a list of all the products on our site, whereas here we've only got the products that has a pricing discount rule. So if you just wanted to quickly um, update it, the discounts that you've got on these particular products, you can just do it here. So if you can remember, this says quantity from two to five, discount type 10%. And you can just go through and bulk edit um, all your products with a pricing rule, just like so. Then you'd export it and then import it just like we did before. 
But that's about wraps it up for our pricing and discount rules plugin. You can create super complex or simple rules. If you've got any questions and need support, again, don't hesitate to contact support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.